So hello friends, today we are going to talk about Burgess manual and its classification. So when we talk about Burgess manual, it is very important to know its history. So we are going to talk about now the history of and evolution of Burgess manual. So there are two types of Burgess manual. The first is determinative bacteriology, Burgess manual of determinative bacteriology and Burgess manual of systematic bacteriology. So Burgess manual of determinative bacteriology consists of four editions, nine editions, one volume each. The first edition was proposed in 1923 which has one volume seventh edition is published in 1957 which has one volume eighth edition which is published in 1975 which has one volume and ninth edition which has published in 1994 which has one volume and the second type of burgess manual of systematic bacteriology is consist of two editions first edition consists of four volumes which is published between 1984 to 1989 which consists of mixed phylogenetic and phenetic five kingdom system and second edition which consists of five volumes which is published between 2001 to 2012 consists of phylogenetic information so what is difference between burgess manual of determinative bacteriology and burgess manual of systematic bacteriology what it really consists of so first thing the burgess manual of determinative bacteriology consists of identification scheme for identifying bacteria and archaea identifying bacteria so it consists is simply consist of morphological character differential staining character which help us to identify a particular bacteria by its morphology differential staining and biochemical test and in systematic bacteriology it simply provides phylogenetic information on a bacteria and archaea which is not based on morphology and any kind of biochemical characteristics it is totally based on rna sequencing so it is very simple to know that determinative bacteriology based on morphology and differential staining and biochemical test and systematic bacteriology consists of and it's based on rna sequencing so when we talk about burgess manual of systematic bacteriology it has two editions the first edition consists of four volumes so first volume which consists of gram negative bacteria of general and medical and industrial importance so the first volume all consists of gram negative bacteria and second volume consists of gram positive bacteria other than actinomycetes because actinomycetes are in fourth volume it has a different volume for it the third volume consists of archaeobacteria and cyanobacteria and remaining gram negative bacteria the volume 3 consists of archaeobacteria cyanobacteria and remaining gram negative bacteria the volume 4 consists of actinomycetes which we know that in second volume i told you earlier that gram positive bacteria it has consist of gram positive bacteria other than actinomycetes so actinomycetes has a different and its special volume which is only for dedicated for actinomycetes and here i have listed these uh, detailed list of genera in burgess manual systematic bacteriology follow so first volume consists of these all section four sections 